Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Well, I've got the fabulous Sarah Doyle back in the kitchen with us. We know how much she loved her last time she was in the kitchen. She made that fabulous food and you came back and you did some cookies for us as well, I didn't did. you? Yeah. So God, it seems ages ago, but Sarah tells me it was only six to eight weeks ago. Don't know, but it feels like, months feels like the summer, doesn't it? It really feels like the summer, yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyhow, so today she's in the kitchen. She's going to make this fabulous boot. Have a look. Yes, it's on there. Yep. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> so cute. So she's going to make it slightly different to this, so that you can all have a look at this one. Because she doesn't believe in making the same. It's about, just make it a bit different, isn't it? Yep. I love all the lumps and bumps, Sarah. Right, isn't it? So she'll show us how to do those as well. Okay then. So back in the kitchen, we have Laura and Maria with us. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so they're just getting ready here, um, and we're going to be a great night. Hopefully, Sarah's got a lot to do in two hours. Hope she's going to get it done. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just let me catch up on a couple of things. Cake International this week. Who's going? Let us know who's going. Uh, looking forward to seeing you all there. We'll all be there. We're taking our flavoured icing sugars with us, our nifty nozzles. And on Friday, if, you, if you're in there on Friday, come down and see me on the stage. I'm down there at half past 10. Um, I've got a demo on the main stage with Jackie Kelly. She's hosting for the whole day. And uh, I'm with her and I'm doing a demo with the nifty nozzles. And apparently I need to throw out some gifts. So I think I told you this on Thursday. You know, they still haven't confirmed yet, but I'm hoping and praying they don't want me to start launching out bags of ice and sugar. I might knock a few people out. So I'm going to take some extra nozzles and throw those out for me, for, me, for you. So if you're going to be there, give me a thumbs up and let me know if you're going to come along and watch me. It's my first demo on a stage. Um, usually I'm just here in the comfort of my own home, in my, in my own sugar and crumbs kitchen. So uh, that'd be an interesting morning. What else do we need to tell everybody, Laura? I'm sure I've got loads of things to tell you and I've actually got a mind blank. <laughs> so um, Cake Decoration Magazine are going to be there. So the Cake Decoration and Sugar Craft Magazine are going to be there. Go and sign up with those. I'm in November's issue. I was in October's issue. I had two pages in there. I've got two pages in the November issue and we've got another two pages in the December issue. Go and sign up with them, £5. Let them know that I sent you there or you can actually sign up on the website. If you want to sign up via the website, just go to shop which is our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Drop into the shop menu, drop right down to Cake Decoration and Sugar Craft Magazine. It'll take you right through to link five issues for five pound. You are signing up for the year, but you can cancel any time, but it's a great starting offer. And I don't actually think monthly subscription is very dear, is it? No. no. And Sarah's in it as well. I'm in it. Yeah. So what are you making? Oh, you're not allowed to tell us yet. No. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> it's next year. Forget. Next year, I'm in it. I forget. So, Laura, do you want to do some shout outs and say hello? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, as always, we've got a really good audience building up. It does take a few minutes just for everyone to realise that we're on, we're live, and um, people to remember. Um, but we're touching 200 at the moment, which is fantastic. So, thanks everyone for joining us. And um, as always, we're live in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, and what happens here in the kitchen stays in the kitchen. So, if there's anyone new that's tuning in this evening, um, welcome, say hi, um, introduce yourself in the comments. It's great to hear that we've got new people following us. Um, we are a really friendly bunch and if you've got any questions that are um, in relation to the live that Sarah does for us this evening, just pop them in the comments and we'll try and get through to them. Um, the only thing is the feed moves really quickly so if we miss anything we'll try and catch up later in the week for you. Um, or our other watches, they're absolutely great and try and answer everyone's questions that I miss. Um, if you can't stay with us for the whole live for whatever reason, it will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page when we're finished so you can catch up at any point once we're finished. Um, we're also streaming live on YouTube, so hi to everyone that's watching yeah. us on YouTube. Hi YouTubers! <laughs> um, and the video also gets pinned onto the YouTube channel as well, so you can catch up either way. Um, if you're interested in purchasing any of the products that Sarah uses this evening, just head over to the Sugar and Crumbs website when you're ready, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Um, we've got a Facebook Live Must Have section, and you can also search by brand or at the search bar at the top of the page. Um, you'll see Maria hovering around the kitchen as well, so um, Maria's in a gorgeous cosy jumper, as always. <laughs> what are you going to wear to the awards, Maria? A jumper. A jumper. <laughs> jumper at this. We're going to the awards on Starting Saturday on. night. She'll be going across her, three jumpers on. <laughs> so, Maria Aww. films fantastic footage, which all gets squished into these brilliant one-minute videos that also appear on Facebook and YouTube as well. 
So um, hi to lots of people that are watching. There's quite a few people saying that they're going to come and pop and see us on yeah. the stand. Um, I don't want to so, be on my own down there. No. Don't leave me I'm first up, and you know that first up <laughs> is not actually the best spot because you know people are still coming into the show. So you know what? Come and show me some yeah. support. Get Better down support there. in the audience for Just Carol. Go bypass everybody else. Come down and see me. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, looking forward to seeing everyone over the weekend. Um, and that's pretty much it from me. Enjoy the live, guys. Um, as I say, it's you know positive comments. Enjoy it. This is a free tutorial, um, and the aim is to enjoy what you see and give it a go. Fantastic. Right, on Thursday we had Amy Archibald in the kitchen. Um, she did a fantastic live, and so many of you have already had an attempt at that. Dahlia. Can never get it yeah, right. I Dahlia. Think, I've been I practicing all Dahlia. 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 Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Carol so, Mother says Delilah. So. Uh, oh. Exactly. I never know what it is. <laughs> Anyhow, here it is. It's all lovely and dry. Unfortunately, I have broke a couple oh. of the petals. So here it is. It's all lovely. Now, um, quite a lot of you said that if she comes and does a class in the kitchen, you'd like to come on. So I've actually put the class on the website. It's the 1st and 2nd of February. So if you want to come up for that weekend, she's doing a beautiful wedding cake that weekend. She's going to show you suede effects. She's going to do some brush embroidery, using some stencils, um, put on some lovely gold. I don't know, copper wire. There's loads of things. Go over and have a look at it. Um, you can pay a £100 deposit. So you can pay that now to secure your place. And then you can pay weekly or monthly. It's really entirely up to you. As long as you get it paid at least two weeks. It should be a week, a month before, before the course. But because we're coming up to Christmas, you know what, fair enough. Let's leave it two weeks before. But if you want to join, it's the 1st and 2nd of February. And she is amazing. She's going to be back here next month as well. She's going to show you another fantastic flower. So we're looking forward to her being back here then. Um, the sales of Sugars is actually finished. Um, fantastic sale. Well done to all of you. I put some more goodies in the um, offers list if you want to go over and have a look. Got plenty of sweet stamps still over there. Go and grab them while you can. And what else is there? Um, I think I've told you about new moulds, but I've just got to tell you about this funny thing. Right, all my staff know I don't open the post. Never open the post <laughs> whatsoever. And, um, and I don't need to open the post because everything is always on direct debit. And to be fair, I'm not really interested in reading anything that comes through the post. As long as I pay my bills, that's all I'm really bothered about. But today, so I've got posts, so there I am, I'm tidying up, going through a whole load of stuff, said to me, I promise I'll clear that area out. So I'm throwing stuff away, credit card statements from 2015, 2016. <laughs> I actually found my marriage certificate to John. I didn't know where that was, which was amazing. I found that. We were looking for it for ages. And um, anyhow, but I found this most recent one. So a lovely lady has sent me this. And I just thought, how fabulous is that? So she sent me a, a, a long thing Aww. in there. But um, so I just want to say thank you, Amy. So um, Amy was actually working on our stand with us at Cake and Bake and she just sent me this lovely card to say thank you for working with us. And I feel really bad because I haven't even told her I found it. It's got to have been here a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. Right, so Sarah, I'm going to lead you to it. Okay. Yay. Uh, you're going to see me shuffling around in the background because Sarah has been in the car how many hours today? Well, the person who gave her Seven the, or eight or yeah, the person who gave her the lift has been in the car twelve hours, yeah. um, and she's been in the car seven hours, so they didn't get here till half past six. So I'm going to be her assistant at the other end of the kitchen. So if you can hear any noise, it will be me. Yeah, right. taking me Leave to, you to it. Up. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and have you got any comments, Laura, to shout them out? No, we're just um, a really good audience, almost touching three hundred now. Fantastic. So yes, fantastic. Right, so I'll put that there. Wherever, I? If, wherever you, you want it. Yeah, Sarah. Put, put it behind. Behind. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll first just cover the board. I'm not a glitter girl fan. And there's a bit of dust here. <laughs> glitter dust. So I'm just clean a that. bit. You're in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. There's, there's more than a bit. <laughs> yeah, <I'm clean>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was experimenting. So anybody who was at Cake and Bake will know that I threw glitter all over the counter one day, not deliberately, by accident. And then I was just sprinkling it all over Sarah's cake before. But to be fair, Sarah, no one's going to notice it's on no. there. Yeah. You need a cornflower pouch now. Yeah, and a rolling pin. Uh, and, <laughs> and glitter is going to go on there after anyway. I'm yeah. just being... Yeah. Well, be two down right, I'll start the book. Thank you. Super. Thanks. 
Right, what I did on mine, on this practice one, was I actually put, oh, I actually put an edible sheet on there. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. And um, a bit of water and just stuck that to there, just to have a bit of interest, really. Yeah. But tonight, say faffing around with that and taking too long, not that it did, I'll just cover the board in white and surround the little stocking with sprinkles and things. Okay. Yeah. Is my indie on there yet? Yeah. Not seen. And now there's been quite a few comments to be honest, but I haven't seen a comment yet. I just want to say thank you to everyone for I was advertising this and I got so much lovely encouraging support for the cookie I did last week. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, thank you so thank much. You much. I was going to show them. Blew me away, everyone's comments. Because um, I did my back in last week, so I was stuck at home for nearly a week. That's incredible. And but what you can't see on there is that it's actually 3D, it's completely built up. So look, so genuine cookie. Yep. Yeah. And look at that, and I think if I turn it that way, can you yes. see it? Yes, yeah. It's incredible. You can see all the 3D effect, can't you? Yeah, I couldn't show that in look, photos. absolutely really amazing. Well. It really is beautiful. And then she nearly killed me. Because I'm talking to her when she come in, she put that down. She put it down and I came in, I was emptying some boxes and put the lid on top of it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> she went, get off! Yeah. Only a tiny bit of damage you haven't noticed. Slight little damage. Yeah, it just looks like another bush. Detail, it's amazing. Detail? Absolutely incredible. I made those leaves with uh, wafer paper and just oh, a punch. Right. Yeah. punch. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. So Very thank talented. you everyone for that. Big boost to my week. Yeah. I was feeling a bit sorry for myself. <laughs> well, it went all over Facebook. I saw it everywhere. Yeah. Oh, well. We'll have a sit down. A squeaky chair or normal. <laughs> a squeaky chair or normal. <laughs> you got a spray bottle or should I just dash on a bit of water? Pardon? On the board. Just put this on the board. But we'll brush it on. You need to brush on water now though, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you say that? What are you doing yeah. there now, aren't you? I'm just going to cover the board. Cover the board. Oh, right. Yeah, I'll just okay. do it first this time because right. it's not too See, I bad. Never put that, I never put that much corn flour down. It's a non stick ball fat. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to it. I've got a little one of these, mm. so I don't actually roll out my sugar paste on it. It's a weird shape, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll get there. Right, So as I said before, if anyone's missed any of the beginning or you can't stay for the whole session, it will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page when we're finished. So you do have to wait for the end, um, but you can watch back from the beginning as soon as we're finished here. Um, yeah, it's corn flour that's on the board, not ice and sugar. It's corn flour, it's just from a corn flour pouch. <laughs> Love when you demonstrate it. <laughs> So if you, a few of you have asked what time I'm on the stage, I'm on the stage on Friday at half past ten. So get there a little bit earlier. I think, what time does the show open? Half past nine, is it? I think it might I be, think the yeah. show opens at half past nine. Sure half nine or ten. If I remember, this show's later than yeah, I've they can be. Yeah, I think it's ten, no, I think it's nine to six. I think it's a nine yeah, till six one. Nine There's six. one of them that's always nine till six, isn't it? That's a long and I think day. it's this when it kills us, doesn't it? <laughs> Just put it on the board. I put it on the wall. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> on the board. Right, I've not worn my glasses this time because I don't work wearing my glasses, but um, I was explaining I do go a bit deaf <laughs> and funnily enough blind when I do <laughs> to other things around me. So, uh, bear with. It'd be fine, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Half nine till five until four on Sunday. Half nine till five? Yep, and then half nine till four on Sunday. Oh, cracky, they have shortened the hours yes, then, haven't they? they? Have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. very good. Oh, somebody's noticed I've had an haircut. 
You didn't notice, did you? I did actually before. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I did actually when I came in. When you were stood there next to on this side, I did notice. So is that Maloney? She's there. Uh, she's <gasps> spots Eagle everything. Eagle-eyed. Eagle-eyed Maloney. Eyed Maloney. <laughs> Can't get over with anything. People are going mad for your cookie. Mm, that cookie's brilliant. How long did it take to make, Sarah? I did it over a few days just because I was doing other things, like laying on the sofa doing nothing. <laughs> um, I was just, yeah, I just did bit. And obviously, you did your back cookies, in though last week, though, I did didn't you? I did do it. I really, I don't know how I did it, but I did it in. But um, I. Obviously, with cookies, you have to have to wait for the royal icing to dry in between coats, and when you're building yeah. it up, you don't want to splodge it all everywhere. And you know, yeah. So. Okay. So um, we're using two sugar paste tonight. The white one here is uh, Renshaw Extra. Have we used Renshaw Extra for the board? <laughs> No. Maria extra. gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't I, got Renshaw, okay. I got Renshaw Extra for it. Are you telling me we've got to put Renshaw Extra on the board? I, could, I should have got I my cheap no stuff out. I should have got my cheap Lovely stuff out. and snowy. <laughs> uh, just so you know, I only ever use cheap stuff for boards. I never actually put an expensive paste on. But I wasn't thinking when Sarah asked me for white sugar paste and red sugar paste. So do I. Eh? When I'm at home. What, a few cheap stuff on <laughs> the board? Yeah, stuff. absolutely. No one's going to eat it, are they? Eat it, no, but it is very silky and lovely. Yeah. Right, so that's it for there. Right, I'm just going to get the cake out of the fridge. Mm -hmm. All ready to put the buttercream on. So you've used the Molly Robbins um, Creature Creator Lay-In Style. Um, and just for anyone who has or hasn't purchased it yet, it comes with a recipe and a free tutorial guide within there. Mm. Um, and you'll, if you go on Molly's page or our page, you'll see Sarah's creations that Sarah's made with it. It really is a fantastic sort of template base yeah. for so many different ideas. Mm. Um, and although it says it's a creature creator, as Sarah's demonstrated, the boot that she did previously for us, it just takes a little bit of imagination, doesn't it? Just to think of the different shapes and everything. Mm. But yeah, well, I was going to use... The boot one's brilliant, though, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I was going to use the stand-up mould this time, but I didn't want to add to it. I wanted to use the mould as it is. As it is. I was going to okay. do a Santa coming out of a chimney, oh, but yeah. then it would meant adding on smush, right. as I call it, smush. with your paper, uh, cake pop... Oh, the mix. mix. Yes. And just add that on the side to make more of a bulky chimney. Right. Mm -hmm. But then the the bulbous bit on it to be his bum, and then his legs sticking out. Ah. So there's an idea for Ooh. it. Ooh, okay. You can steal. Mm. You might have to do that and pop it on our page for us. You should speak to Molly and do these again in stages and have them printed off as, um, as tutorials. tutorials. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because they're really very good. I've told Molly to watch tonight, so hopefully she is watching. Yeah. Uh, she was really pleased with it. Anyhow. Um, if you're going to Cake International, Molly will be there and she will have loads and loads of tutorials to sell. Um, those of you who are coming to the demonstration morning on the 9th of November, we actually have to book a demonstration afternoon once we knew Molly was in. It was double booked. Yeah. So we're there all day. I'm not actually sure who's going to be there all day because Laura's running off and so is Maria. So <laughs> could be a very stressed we didn't Carol. We've that one very well, <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> But uh, Molly will have all of them there. And if you go into Cake International, Molly is going to show you, she's already let it out of the bag. She's going to show you her fabulous new legs. And <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I've seen she's got, she's got two legs and four legs. So, and she's they're amazing. Got some great legs. <laughs> she's got some other great assets as well. But anyhow, yeah, we'll talk about her legs at the moment. So her uh, legs are fabulous, <clears throat> and uh, so she. If you go in there, you can actually pre-order them with her. She did offer for us to pre-order, but I've got to be honest, I don't think I can go through the stress. So anybody who wants to pre-order the legs, you can go straight to Molly's website, Creature Creative. It's CreatureCreative.co.uk. 
UK. I think so, yes. And you can pre-order the legs. I'm not sure if they're going to arrive till after Christmas, though. Um, but as soon as that they are in the country, then we will stock them, absolutely. So if you want to wait until they're actually in stock, they will be on our website as soon as they arrive. So um, Sarah's just putting on the bus cream, and while she's doing that, I'm just going to catch up with a few other things. So Cake International, so there'll be no live this Thursday. Um, I will try and get round the show for you, but I won't be able to do it on Friday, because by the time I've got off the stage, I've got to get back in demo all day. Um, so I think what I might do is do a live around the show on the Sunday morning and I can let you know how well we've done at the awards. So if there's a live on the Sunday morning, that means that we did okay. And if there isn't, that means I've packed up and gone home and I fell out with everyone. <laughs> and left us to run the stand. Yeah. Or are we all going home as well? Yeah, no, you're all going home as well. So um, um, we're up for three nominations. We're up for Best Retailer. That's the one I would like to win. Big hint, Kate Masters. And... Um, <laughs> I'm, we're up for um, product. Non edible product excellence. Oh, yeah, we're on, oh, we're on for non edible product and um, edible product. For, so, one for our sugars, one for our nozzles. So, you never know, we may get lucky with one of those. So, what I will do is, I think I'll do a live, a little tour on the Sunday and go and show you who was there, or who, not who was there, who is there, albeit they'll all probably be drunk, but I won't because <laughs> I don't drink. But I'll show you Laura, because she knows how to drink, don't you, Laura? Uh -huh. <laughs> and as we're on the, the Sweet Stamp Girls table, oh, I'm sure, God. I don't know whether Laura and Maria will actually come back home, because I believe those lots stay out till four in the morning. Oh, uh, well, I definitely won't be I'll out till four in the morning. <laughs> so, Sarah, I've just seen a comment pop up. I think your neighbour is up, has just popped up. I'm Sarah's neighbour. She gave us the... Oh, you the lady who's done Sophie. the nails today. Sophie, yes. <laughs> We've heard all about you, Sophie. You've ate Maria's top of the cake. <laughs> so, just to tell you, Sarah, uh, Maria's put in a request for an apple crumble flavoured cake. Ooh. So that's what this is. So she was waiting for the off cuts. But Sophie, um, Sarah's neighbour, was doing her nails today and fancied the cake, so she got it. Well, well this cake, the actual cake's gingerbread. Oh, right. Yeah. <gasps> Where's and the apple is... crumble coming to it, then? Maria's desires of cake. So <laughs> that was messaged to me earlier on the way up. But um, I said, well, I've done a gingerbread cake. Ah. So we've got gingerbread You mean to say you asked on the way up for an yeah. apple crumb yeah. cake? Yeah, so I'd already done the cake. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Maria, you know when we go for breakfast tomorrow, we'll leave Sarah here making one. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, so this is gingerbread cake, but this is from Molly's recipe in her book, um, in her tutorial of the laying down mould and um, all I added was a tablespoon of treacle because I didn't have brown sugar that's the, the only reason I'd normally use um, half and half brown sugar and white sugar and then I used uh, two teaspoonfuls of ginger a teaspoonful of cinnamon and half a teaspoon no about a quarter a pinch of nutmeg and I think that was it and this smell of it and this is why Sophie was doing my nails last night food safe nails and um so you can make that recipe so a lot easier forget yeah. all those ingredients just use gingerbread flavored icing sugar there yes. you go or <laughs> you, <laughs> you don't need to worry about going buying all the other stuff a just one, this and a teaspoon yeah. of that don't bother one bag of gingerbread <laughs> flavored icing sugar will do it followed by gingerbread buttercream yeah. and you'll be laughing it's Instead nice of the the normal normal sugar you'd use, lovely yeah. I've, I still haven't tried it in the cake. Still tried it, no. oh, you, it's a game yeah. changer in a cake. Amazing. I'm using cookies as well. Right, so there we go. Slap that on. I am. I don't normally do the um, cover the board first, or if I do, I bake it or leave it overnight or whatever to dry. But we're all quick and slap dash here, and you you all know how to do that. So I'm just showing you quickly. Um, and hopefully not too much will get on the boards and I won't be too messy. Don't worry. Tina Pine is staying at the Hilton. So she said if she, see, if she is any late night <laughs> shenanigans, she'll know who it is. Oh, no. I can tell you it won't be me. I, I, I tell you, as soon as I've won all three awards, I'm off. <laughs> Turn table. Yeah. So, uh, if I'm lucky. Um, I don't actually know where the awards are. Are they at the, the Hilton? Hilton? Are they at the Hilton this year? Because they were at that dodgy place last year, weren't they? No, it was at the Hilton last year. No, it wasn't. It's easier to it, was. it wasn't. 
It yeah, wasn't. We had to go to before was a different place, Metropole or somewhere. So was it at the Hilton last year? I'm sure it or was. Where was I? No, it wasn't. <laughs> where was I? <laughs> it wasn't. We had to go to that yeah. dodgy place up and down. We drove up and down the motorway and missed a turn in about five times. Found it yeah, on the roundabout. Yeah, it was Hilton last year. No, it wasn't. No, okay. Find out. Where was the awards look. last year? Anyone who went to the awards, tell us. We don't know where we've been. <laughs> I don't know. It was more than Wembley than the first year. Yeah, but it was a different yeah. place in the first year. Definitely. Yeah. Why? How many times have we been? Twice. I've okay. been twice. Yeah. Not How many times time. have I been? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> I only remember going once. <laughs> <laughs> I've been twice. And she wasn't drinking. <laughs> I know. Carol the non-drinker. I remember where we've been. Where or how been? many times we've been. I've been twice, and you were with me both times. <laughs> yes, Catherine, you can use our flavoured icing sugar in the cake, and it's lovely. gives you a nice, gives you a nice um, hint of flavour. It's not overly strong, and um, makes your cake very soft as well. It's very, it's very nice. Right, so there I was starting to cover the cake in buttercream, which you can, but what I've done instead um, makes it nice and sturdy. And it's just what I'm used to using. So I've done three parts white chocolate to one part whipping cream. Mm -hmm. Because I've heard it's amazing and I usually use double cream. But yeah, I've told her she's got to use lovely, whipping cream. Silky. Do you like it? Smooth. Do you like the yeah. texture? It's lovely, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I was telling, um, who was I telling? Danielle last week, Danielle Critch was on. And I'd seen it on the group to use whipping cream instead of double cream. So I asked Danielle to use it, and in fairness, she was impressed as well. So it's lovely and silky. So I've got, um, because we're using white chocolate today, I've asked um, Sarah to do the same. Mm -hmm. So, uh, see how it goes. Maria, we were wrong. Sue, pick up. Carol, what number is your stand? I don't know, we're on ILB somewhere, no, Sue. No. <laughs> All you need to know is, you run oh, straight oh, no. in. If you're coming on Friday, you run straight in, you go right down to the main stand, Come and find me, find out where Jackie Kelly is, I'll be there. And then after that, you go to aisle B and then you go home. You don't need to go and see anybody else, there's only us. So. Okay, <laughs> Sam corrected, it wasn't the Hilton last year. It wasn't, was it? National Conference Centre. Yeah, that's right. See, that's what happens you when go. you don't drink. There you go, <laughs> I remember. I was yeah. the fog was on the, on the fourth, sorry. <laughs> oh, it was, was the, the National Hilton Conference Centre. where we went for Gwen? Yes. Ah, but that was the it's first year. Is that the Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's where we went to Gwen's party. Anyway, we're at the yeah. Hilton this year. <laughs> right, good, good, because that other place was a nightmare to find. That's not the turning up at the wrong place, <laughs> <laughs> winning an award and not being there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's what I like positivity. Winning, there you, you said. Yeah, yeah, well done. Winning, winning. Yes. And if we don't win, we're going to cry. We're out of there. <laughs> I think you will. Hmm. I think you will, and I'm not just saying that because I'm here and you're <laughs> feeding me and <laughs> giving me a bed. <laughs> a lot of people I'm say we should so win best retailer, but we'll have to see. Such a personable company, doesn't everyone agree? Oh. Just so helpful. I mean, I've rung a few times before I knew you and everything. It's yeah. like, help, I've done something wrong, I've ordered something wrong. Oh, you're so all right, and this is about midnight, because that's what time us cakers are up, isn't it? Well, so many, so many people will message late at night, mm. and they're always surprised yeah. that I respond. I know. And then I always respond, phone the office. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. Wait till Monday, phone <laughs> Laura. I don't. I don't. I always screenshot the message, and then I email them over. But I try right. and help as many as I can. You really do. Right, normally at home I would put this in the fridge after I've crumb, crumb coated it. Oh, we can do. Or with anything with uh, buttercream or, or ganache really, but well, this is what I was going to say, with Molly's malt you really don't need to because the ganache sets so quickly, um, especially on a cold cake, so that's why I put the cake in the fridge for a bit. But um, yeah, I can do, I can make the presents and put them in the fridge. But... Um, Joan Means has just said that she used um, whipping cream today for the first time, mm -hmm. and it's the best ganache she's had. Mm -hmm. So I think we're all going to be dumping the uh, double cream and going straight to whipping cream. Yeah, yeah. I think it's cheaper as well, isn't mm -hmm. it? I think so. Not that we're cheap with our cakes, of course. No. Oh, I like that. Linda Miles. 
You don't need a label or a trophy, Carol. You and your team are winners already. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but we're still like a badge, though. Yeah, we were. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love, like, something to prove it. Oh, Tina knows what stand we're on. Thank goodness oh. for that. Well done, because we don't. We never know what stand we're on. We are we just. Well, we, we always get told what stand we're on, but we just... Um, we just turn up and go looking for it. Yeah. Where are we? Look for the pink sign. Yeah. <laughs> and then when we've got the fairy lights up, that's how we find us then after that. Yeah. Yeah. We're on B26. That's it. Thanks, I yeah. do know we were on row B because I always ask for row B. At present though. No one will notice that. Don't worry. Nothing. Not even on camera. It's back. Oh, Not look at that. How many it. people said that we should win. Oh. oh, that's lovely. Well, let's hope that Cake Masters was listening to you all. <laughs> We'll see. Anyway, I've got fantastic audience. 459 people, wow. Sarah. So well done. Wow. Mm, well done. More than last time. Mm. Thank you all. Not that you're only here for me, of course. Of course they are. Oh. So Madge is on YouTube there. Madge is saying, hi, everyone. Looks like it's going to be another great night as usual. Thanks, Madge. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Phil Thorne says, say hi to, say hi to Sally. Who's Sally, Phil? Oh. Sarah. Is that Engelbert? <laughs> <laughs> I've only met Phil once or twice, but we were just making out. We couldn't know, didn't know each other's names and that stuck and I kept it going far too long. Oh, is that <laughs> so why? obviously carrying it on. Ah, so right. right. Don't worry, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> right, here you go. Question, how much white chocolate... To cream three times as much white chocolate to cream so if you've got a hundred mil of cream you use 300 grams grams of white chocolate mm. and milk chocolate it's two to one and dark chocolate is one to one mm -hmm. okay three two <clears throat> right I've messed up the board good and proper right, I don't want to see you be yeah, we'll get Maria's, Maria's fingers on it in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Lick it off. Right, so Jane Harmon says, do you reckon you could stand the cake up so it's more of a stocking long boot or will it fall over? Mm. Mm. Sorry, can you... Do you know what? That's a possibility, that, looking at that. Do you want to get so Jane says, do you yes. think you could stand that up? Yes. I yeah. saw someone do it the other day. Someone, I'm sure it was in your group, made a boot. Mm. A Christmas boot and it was stood up on this bit so yeah. it's up that way and yeah mm. yeah mm. another one to try um, the flexi smoothers I think are they in, are they in that oh do you want flexi cupboard? smoothers yeah. oh, you never told me about them let me find them here they're in they're in there look Maria third one down I think those are these the Oh, the net, the big tub. Um, I can what see them flexi smoothers in the middle. Just, 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 yeah. Yeah. just a little Yeah. These? No, no, no. no right. In the little narrow tubs. Shall I come and do this? It'll be quicker, won't it? <laughs> Run, get back to done. <laughs> <laughs> we can be going up and down for a while, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> Considering they're all pink tubs. We're having a bit of a golden shot moment. Pink tubs. <laughs> they are like six tubs. Yeah. <laughs> What size do you want? So just, just to confirm, and um, this is the laying oh, style right. mould from the Molly Robbins yeah, Creature yeah. Creator sets. And um, so the moulds are sold individually, but there is a laying style and a standing style. Both of the moulds come with um, a tutorial booklets um, and recipes inside, hints and tips of how to use the moulds. Um, but Molly does actually sell um, the separate tutorials on their own as well, and she will be at Cake International with them. You can contact her directly for them in advance. Um, so we sell the moulds only on the Sugar and Crumbs website. Um, so again, if there's anything that you're interested in purchasing tonight, head over to the <coughs> website, which is sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Um, we've got the, the Molly Robbins mould on there. We've got a load of different types of brands of sugar paste. Um, there's a couple of different items as well that Sarah will be using. So she'll be using the Dinky Doodle Airbrush Kit later. Um, some Cool Splash Gels, Fractal Airbrush Liquids and things like that. So... Head over to the Sugar and Crumbs website when we're finished and you can do all your purchases in there. Hmm. Caroline, you always say you can ask splits. Now, that's really interesting because I actually asked Danielle to try and get it to split and she couldn't get it to split. We've used whipping cream, not double cream. 
and she really struggled. Go, give it a go again using whipping cream. Seriously, whoever put it on the group, it's a game changer. It's not my idea. There's somebody put it on the group a couple of months ago. And then, as I say, I thought I'd get different people to try it. Danielle tried it last week. Um, Sarah's trying it today. And both of them like it. Yeah. <laughs> That's my input. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This doesn't actually have to be that smooth because I'm going to put a texture mat all over the stocking once the fondant's gone on it and I'm going to put bobbly bits in there to look like toys are inside and so on. So I'm just doing a, just a very rough one. Oh that's nice, Joseph in English. I'm sitting here listening to you all talking about CI and feeling envious as I've never been. I'll keep my fingers crossed that you do win, Carol, as you deserve it. Aww. So anybody who is going to Cake International, let me tell you, it's hard. It's hard work. Make sure you go in your trainers. Do not go in high heels. Take comfy shoes. <laughs> take yourself a little uh, suitcase on wheels. Don't take one you have to carry. <clears throat> That's my advice to you. You know one of those that you put in the overhead when you get on an aeroplane, just one of those. I have seen people take massive, massive suitcases, <laughs> yeah. but that's a bit ridiculous really, and they get in everybody's way and people moan. Um, but fill your suitcase up with all your food, all your treats, water, everything else. Um, they have got shops and food bars there, but the queues are horrendous and they're extremely expensive. So I would fill your suitcase up with all your treats, everything. And then what you do is you come into the show, like I say, if it's Friday, you shoot straight down to me and watch me, then you come over to our stand. But if it's any other day, come on in, start on row F, go up and down the aisles, just say hello and wave to everybody. Keep going till you get to B26, have a big long chat with us. By that time, you'll have everything in your suitcase. You'll be ready to fill it up with ice and sugar and nifty nozzles and ready to go home. There you go, perfect plan. <laughs> Simple. Uh, yeah, and if you've got anything you can find to sit on the floor, you'll find that people are draped all over the floor as well when they're tired. And the toilets, the loos for the toilets are horrendous. So, not sure if there's any men listening. If there is, put your earplugs in now. Ladies, wear something with a T and it ends with lady. You will need it. <laughs> Go for the double thickness. <laughs> Right, that'll do. Okay, so I think I will put it in the fridge for a bit mm -hmm. and I'll make some prezzies to go on top. Yeah, yeah. sounds good. Sound effects. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I have to agree with Tina, do not take a thick coat. It does get very hot in there and very, very busy. So if you can leave your coat in the car, and you know what, don't do, don't do dawdle to the show. Just run like the clappers with your trolley. You'll burn up some heat, burn off some calories and some energy. Get there really nice, warm, hot and sweaty. And then you can start drinking your first drink out your suitcase. Carol's got it all planned out for oh, you. Yeah, I can tell you, I've been to these shows, they're hard work. They're hard work for us standing yeah. there all day. They're a killer. <laughs> Sarah, if I've got any voice left on Sunday, it would be lovely to meet you. <laughs> Me? Struggling. Not you. No, oh, sorry. I was gonna say, yeah, Sarah I'm Saunders. I know, I was looking at you when I was saying it, wasn't I? Yeah, you were. <laughs> <laughs> not you. I can actually see you. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I never wrote these packets. So cat handed. Um, so I'm just going to do a few presents go on the top. Just let you know we're going for a minute. Okay. Um, I really am just going to make it up as I go along. I'm going to hand paint some, um, put some metallic paint on there and just so Evie, the it. reason Sarah's hair is not in a net is that this isn't um, a food um, kitchen for giving away food. If you're new to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, this is just a demonstration kitchen, okay? So we don't wear any hair nets in here, we don't wear any gloves. You know what, we're just chilling out in the kitchen, we're doing a free tutorial, 
just for everybody to watch. What they do in their kitchen is entirely up to them. So do not worry, we will not be killing anybody by giving it to them. <laughs> the only people who will be eating this night, and it looks like Maria's eyeballing it, <laughs> will be Maria, who's here in the kitchen, and she's quite happy. Yeah. I always wear my hair back. Yeah, well, when you're making cakes for a customer, of course you would. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> didn't make the mistake of looking at my last live and looked like a big fat peanut, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let my hair down tonight. <laughs> um, not vain or anything, but... Oh, know. Maloney's just reminded me to bring my chair. So, at Cake and Bake, I brought myself a nice um, silver and purple chair. I did want a pink one, but I couldn't find a pink one. Um, so, I brought this chair so that anybody who was having photos with us, I could stand behind. <laughs> so, nobody had to Photoshop me. I actually stood <laughs> behind the person. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah dawn's top tip here take a list of things you're looking for sugar nozzles sugar nozzles <laughs> sugar nozzles b26 there you go <laughs> and lynn burgess i have done the i have done the stickers actually here they are so of these bad boys so if you come by the stand make sure you have one stick it on you um and then i think we'll do a little draw with these i think we'll do a little bit of a competition so you have your picture taken i'll set up a post of who came to cake international and i think what we'll do is i think i'll give out about 10 prizes so i think that's quite good isn't it yeah don't know what it what we'll do but anyhow i think what we'll do is so come and get your sticker so when you've done all your shopping on our stand get your sticker have your picture done a lot of you did it last year and I'll get the post going already, and then you add your picture to it, and then on the following Monday, we'll do a little draw of everybody who's took it, and I think we'll pull out about 10 people mm. and um, give you some goodies. Yeah? Sounds good. Do you like that idea? Yeah. Sounds good. These are in the back ready to go along Fantastic. So Sarah's just making some different shapes now, um, just to fill the top of the stocking, the, st the top of the, the it is the stocking. Yeah. Um, so I say boots, stock the stocking. And as you can see the image in the background, the cake that Sarah's pre-prepared for us, um, it's just different shapes and sizes, different colours of presents. So this is a free reign kind of thing. Do whatever you want. If you've got particular colours um, that you want to do the cake in to stick to a certain theme, feel free. If the you know, gifts the children, then obviously you can make them really girly, really, you know, loads of toys, things mm -hmm. like that in there. Um, Sarah's one's got a little teddy bear in there, for example, and candy cane on the stocking, which is really cute. But you just go with whatever you want, you know, whatever you want. This is just a free reign bit. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not being fussy, as you can see. Oh, I like that. Will 500 be enough? I've got to be honest, you know, Kath, I was just I thinking there. I, I, uh, Kath, um... I was just thinking that I thought I ordered 500 stickers. I have a feeling I've ordered 500 sheets oh. with 24 Ooh, stickers on. That's a lot. That's a lot, isn't it? Yes. Best be bloody thousands of you there, let me tell you. So <laughs> Bringing them away as prizes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are to be the prizes. Good idea, Laura. <laughs> 25 sheets of stickers. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, can you just hold that crisscross effect up to the camera for me? Just so. Yeah, just do it as if it's... Bring your hands down a bit. Wrapping. Yeah, because you need to be looking under this camera. Yeah, there you there go. Perfect. Yeah, so it's just yeah. like the paper's folded over. Yep. Do two like that. Brilliant. And then two up, like an envelope. Yeah. Really. Just to make it look like it's wrapped up. Very simple. Bring your hands down for me. Uh, there you go. It's a really small detail, but actually it's really effective. Yeah. It is. It's those small details that puts it all together, yes, isn't it? Definitely. I love uh, just adding any texture, detail, yeah. different texture mats, different 
Um, I use royal icing a lot. I use cookies with my cakes a lot because I just love all the different yeah, textures. Yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. Love the airbrush. It's hard to keep me away from the airbrush and every cake I make, really. Um, I am just going to use it once tonight just to put some shadow in at the end. But I'll add these as I go along. But I think I'll just get on with the cake now. Cause Anyhow, lots of good tips here. So somebody's mentioned about buying the car parking online. And I've just seen that it's um, £12 if you buy it online, £16 on the day. Wow. So that's really very, very good. We've never had to pay for car parking. We'd be in a stall holder. We actually, we don't get free car parking in London, do we? But we get it at Cake International. So, um, yeah, so there you go. Um, be a kind baker, Eileen. Amy was here and she set up this thing about being a kind baker. Um, obviously, you know that I mentioned that, you know, I'm really not having any more bullying on the group anymore. I'm not having any more bullying to me. As much as I'm a big, strong girl, you know, at the end of the day, I'm only human as well. And sometimes it does get to you. And uh, we can see you on the camera. So <laughs> smiling away there. I get, I'm 30 seconds behind, aren't yeah, I? Right, but yeah. she's doing that eyeballing look to Maria then. Oh, it's for the turntable. <laughs> So, um, anyhow, um, I, it really knocked me off my little pedestal earlier on in the year, and it will be three times now. So, I've decided now that from now on, there'll be no more social media bullying in our group whatsoever. I'm not having nasty comments whatsoever. I'm not having any negativity. It's a positive group. And what we'll do now is, anybody who comes on and causes any trouble, they will be outed straight away. We'll just, we'll just name them. So Amy Archibald has set up this th this thing, and it's um she wants it as, as an hashtag, an hashtag be a kind baker. So it's be a kind baker. Um, she's actually selling tote bags, so you need to go over to Amy's website, which is Couture Wedding Cakes. You can buy them on there. She's actually dropping all the bags off on our stand. And if you bring your receipt, you can actually pick up your bag from our stand at Cake International. And basically, she wants to pass the word around. I was brave enough to actually out somebody. And she is now wanting, you know, because this goes on in all groups. It goes on in lots of things. Social media bullying is actually quite nasty. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, the people get away with it because nobody's brave enough to shout out who they are. Well, I am. And I will do it all the time. Um, so what it, what it is now, it's to stop it all. It's to start making people nice. For God's sake, we're making cake. Have a laugh. Stop being so miserable. Yeah, it should be, it you should know, be a good experience. 97% of you really do have a laugh about it. It's a cake. It's all about having fun and having a laugh. And you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to make the most amazing cake. Do you know what it's called? It's about making a cake for your family and friends and enjoying it with a cup of tea on a Sunday. Or just if you're in the mood for a slice of cake. That's all it should be. So you are, if you come to our stand, you'll be able to pick up your bags there. But you, do, you don't buy them off me. I'm not selling them. It's Amy Archibald. Look her, look her up on um, Facebook um, or go to her, face, uh, her website, which is Wedding Couture Cakes or Couture Wedding, Couture Wedding Cakes. Yes. Anyhow, look up Amy Archibald. Message her. She'll tell you how to buy them. Right, this is thick because my back's killing me, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and it's... Uh, as we all know, it's hard to. Do you want me to roll it, roll out, it out for a bit? No, I think I'll, I'll just wrap it round. But just if everyone knows that it's yeah. too thick than what I'd normally use. But yeah. Sarah's got a bad back, by the way. She has done her back in. So uh, she did actually send a message about a couple of hours before she arrived telling me I had to make the buttercream, the ganache, and roll out the paste. <laughs> I thought, you haven't got a chance. So, <laughs> sorry. So, um, anyway. Get my orders out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but to be fair, Molly puts it on very thicker, yeah. uh, sugar paste. She, yeah. yeah. Actually, I, I want it a bit thicker than normal because um, I am putting on the uh, texture over yeah. the top, so I'll be pushing it and it'll be fine. Marks on there. I love that. Amanda Matchin says, Life is for living and eating cake. Absolutely. It's really, cake's meant to make you feel happy. Oh, it's quite thick, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite yeah. Actually, it'll all stretch in any yeah. isn't it? Fine. Yeah. Oh, what I have just Maria's going to love it. Do. Go on, what have you got I'm to just going to peel that back. Just only did it to prove that we'll make mistakes and uh, they can all be covered <laughs> you up. You were testing them, weren't you? Yeah. Go on, what have you forgot to do? 
I forgot to put no in idea. ridges oh, in lumps. the stockings. So where it's going to be, the stockings kind of falling down and the folds and yeah. stuff. Yeah, to yeah make you didn't put any lumps on, did you? I didn't because yeah. I'm well aware of time. And uh, I'm going to just put some bits and bobs in, so I'll just grab it off there. You know, and I kept saying sorry last time because it's not as neat as I'd normally work, but it You're really is sorry. rushing and, you know, and it's fine. Sarah, the whole idea of using the Molly Creature Creative is is so to be able easy. to throw it all on yeah, easy. Yeah. And that's why so many people have achieved so many amazing cakes because it is a case of just throwing it all yeah. on. Yeah. So you are literally just using a bit of sugar paste, rolling yeah. it. It's a tiny bit, it. you know, if you have a piece of cake, everyone's, someone's going to get a little bit more sugar paste in there. Bonus. Yeah, we're all happy here. Um, where's that lady gone there? Come in. Janine. <laughs> um, yeah, we're all quite happy staff here at Sugar and Crumbs. We get the odd miserable one now and again. But there we go. <laughs> then, we get, then we get rid of them. Depends so mood we're in. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, we're very happy. And the customers who come in come into the warehouse mm. all the time, they're always staying have a chat because we are we are quite happy. But if you catch me on a Monday when it's busy, we'll be careful. Yeah. Sorry, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to literally peel that off and seal it because around the back I'm going to put a bit of white to have the heel of the stocking. So I'm not going to see this so much and also it's all going to be textured, thank goodness. <laughs> it's like a flipping mess. <laughs> oh, that's good, that's good. Somebody just said it reminds them of Paddington Bear from the front. Oh, the front view reminds me of having some bear. <laughs> Last you know? time I made a mouse, do you remember? And you were calling it an alien, oh. a duck. <laughs> <laughs> do you know I've never watched Paddington Bear, my oh, I've never so seen a single good. episode. Oh, the you watched the film, well. yeah. 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 The film's good. You'll cry. At the never end watched it. it. Do you know? I, the, um, I love children's um, programs as well. The film's really good. Yeah. But it was only a few years I watched Charlotte's Web. Up until I watched Charlotte's Web, I used to kill kill spiders. Oh. But then I watched Charlotte's Web, cried my eyes out on a, on a flight back from Dubai. <laughs> John said, what are you crying at? <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte's Web, never killed a spider since. Catch them all. Maria would tell you, Maria runs around the house screaming her head off. <laughs> spiders, and I'm there, I've got them. Oh, Bought a big yeah. one down in the jar the other day, though, didn't I? Massive one. They are huge at the moment, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Well, I grabbed hold of this big comes. one. I tell you, Maria and John shot off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I live in a really old cottage in the country, and I'm sure they just. Yeah, well, they like it because if you're out in the country, we're like we've got big conifers here, and they love conifers. Mm. So, Caroline Croft, yes, you can use our icing sugar to make um, royal icing. It's actually lovely, and it's lovely when it's flavor it's flavored as well. Just flattening that off slightly because I forgot to cut that bit off for Maria as well. <laughs> oh, Maria's cake cut offs have just gone this evening. But you can have this tonight. <laughs> I reckon Maria will be getting this cake, won't she? You best take a good picture of it, Maria. I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to cut roughly around the edges, going to tuck it all in. I'm not going to cut too close. I'm saying that, I'm, I'm cutting too close. Because I'm just going to tuck it in and then texture it all with a Karen Davis Davies Davis mm -hmm. Davies. yeah right. chunky rib mold. knit mold yeah <laughs> hey Maria <laughs> somebody remembers when a wasp came in and they were watching you diving oh my about God, them that was a horrible <laughs> I wanted to cry that oh. day. And I'm always brave with wasps. I never run around. It, Maria's here, no <laughs> diving and everything. I know how it hurts. That's why I'm scared. <laughs> Um, just to let you know, we've got an action-packed month full of guests for November. Loads of guests in November. I need a charger for this. Uh, loads of guests for November. It's on there. 
Um, who have we got? So we, who have we got next week? So we're at, oh, I tell you what we've got. Hey, okay, we've got. so we've, uh, we're at Cake International next week, but we're bringing back, would you believe it? We're bringing back Natalie Porter. Natalie Porter is launching a brand new product at Cake International. In, in one of the and we're launching it on Monday, the 4th of November. So oh, for yeah. those of you who can't get to Cake International, no. you'll be able to buy it off our website on Monday. So make sure you're, you're here. She has brought out loads of goodies. You're going to want them. So any of you who follow Natalie Porter, you'll see them a bit out of stock of stuff at the moment. It's all coming back into stock next Monday when she brings it all back with her. Um, and on all the new stuff will be there as well. So that will be Natalie. So you will be able to get it at the show. So there's a nice plug for Natalie. You'll be able to get it at the show then. And then, um, so that's on the 4th. I can't remember what we're doing on the Thursday. On the 9th, we've got Molly Robbins in, who's doing two um, social mornings with us. And you'll be able to buy her legs then, if you want any legs. You can buy two legs or four legs. It's really up to you. Or you can buy both. They're all on pre-order, so you'll be able to order them. Then the following Monday, we've got Emily Coyle in. She's got a fantu fantastic new product out called Cake Cream, which is basically Swiss meringue, um, Swiss meringue buttercream in a packet. All you've got to do is add water, hot water, whisk it, some butter. And for those of you who love Swiss meringue buttercream, mm. so she's going to come up and do a demo with that. The following week, we are off to Karen Davies, I believe. Yes. Are we? I don't know. I don't know what date it is. We're off to Karen Davies. So, yeah, it's the 18th, the 25th is after the 18th, is it? Yes. Yeah, so then we're off yeah. to Karen Davies' studio. So we're going to finish off with all our Christmas ideas there. And um, we are doing things on the Thursdays. I just can't remember what we're doing. Yeah, I'm not uh, we've got Amy Archibald back in on a Thursday yeah. as well. I don't remember what date. No, <laughs> I know. I forget which. Oh. Hilary Hurst is in, that's yes, it. Yes, ah, she's coming on the 14th. Ah, so wait a minute. So on the 4th, we've got Natalie Porter with all the new goodies. On the 11th, we've got Hilary Hurst in. She's going to be doing a demo on Faye Cahill and how to luster properly. Wait till you see. I tell you, she's good. She'll be in on the, on the 11th of November. And then on the 18th of November, we've got Emily Coyle in with her cake cream. Then on the Thursday, it's Amy Archibald. Amy Archibald's after Emily Coyle. Right. Um, Emily Coyle. And then um, on the 25th, we are with Karen Davies. And then on the 2nd of December, can you believe it? It'll be the 2nd of December. We've got Julie Rogerson in. So Julie Rogerson, who made that fabulous makeup handbag, she'll be in. And hopefully we can get Sarah back. You never know, Sarah. Do you think yes. you'll be coming back for Christmas? <laughs> yes, I can come yeah. back for December. Christmas. Yeah. For so, Christmas, thank you very much. Oh, no. So kind. Yeah. Well, just yeah. yeah. So we'll get other dates in. So we are action packed all of November. We've got a few few new things that we're releasing on here, so which is really good. Right, I'm gonna do the texturing first because I want to make it a slightly different angle as the other. I'm not worried about any of that round there. It's really slapdash, but I'm going to have sprinkles around there and yeah, it can hide loads of things, so it's fine. So the idea of this way. is the way that it, it, the idea of this is to make it rustic, isn't it? Yeah, really? yeah. and it's yeah. to make it so that anyone can do this. I'm, I want to just make it simple so that, like I did the boot cake, that is such a good idea. It's a good it's idea, step isn't by it? step, and then you can literally. You got a pointy bit and as well you know that pointy bit at the end mm -hmm. so just when you go down the other end so that you can get in further if you use it the other way oh okay is that coming out okay mm -hmm. i'm just gonna do it all over Another great thing awesome. again about this mould because you can just push it, it's so stable. My coffee gone cold. Um, probably. Yeah. Mm, mine's gone cold, do you have a fresh one? 
They usually stick it in the microwave. <laughs> About ten times normally. <laughs> So all Sarah's doing, she's just using the mat to help texture. So she's got to press it, press it in quite hard because she put a lot of sugar paste on. <laughs> That's such a clever idea though. I think it's a good idea yeah. to texture like that, isn't it? Because it's only a, it's only an old stocking yeah. it's meant to be, isn't it? So Supporting the other side as you do it. So I'm only taking the, um, i tell you what I'm taking to Cake International, Tracy. I'm taking the Nozzles, the Sugars, I'm taking the Exclusive Sweet Stamps, I'm taking some Fay Cahill with us. So I'm going to take the large pots, the small pots. I'm not taking Colour Mill or um, the Drips because the actual distributor, the actual owner of the brand will be there. Um, I'm not taking Fractel because Fractel will be there, so there's no point me taking it if the actual yeah. distributors are there. So they'll be there. Um, so I'll be just taking some, mainly because we'll be selling our exclusive sweet stamps. I'll be taking some fake Cahill so that anybody who wants to paint or, um, you know, they can pick up some dust. Then. And I'll be taking dipping solution and piping bags and, um, you know, bundles and nozzles. You can of course do this first and roll out your icing and then that press really this good, on. That looks Sarah. It looks like one of those thick woolly socks that yes. you wear when you're going up the mountains, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. No, not that I go up mountains very often, I can tell you. But <laughs> not I, have got, either. I have got a pair of pink thick woolly ones just in case I might fancy going up there one day. Not for bed. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No, when I was 50, John bought me um, a weekend away in the Ice Hotel. And let me tell you, if any of you lot are daft enough to have a book a weekend away in the ice hotel, take some serious advice, <laughs> give it a miss. <laughs> what to do is, is go there and go and have a tour, but don't be daft enough like I was to stay in it. Crikey. I've never been so miserable in all my life. <laughs> oh my you sleep on the coldest bed in, I don't know how many layers of clothing that you have to put on. You don't even have, you don't even, you can't get changed in your room. You have to get changed in a, in a, a communal dressing room. Okay, which is no problem. I don't mind that. But then you have to get all this like big jumpsuits on that they give you because you have to take all your own clothes, all your thermals. Then you have to have their big jumpsuits on. Then you walk down to your hotel room. You get in bed in this supersonic sleeping bag with um, goat's quilts over you. You have it all over your head. You fasten a string so your nose in your mouth comes out and then you want to wee. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to get out of bed. Put your shoes back on, go all the way back, take everything all off, have a wee, and you do that all night long. So the name of the Ice Hotel didn't give you a hint I that never. it might be cold. Well, I think Jean was ready to have a pee in the corner, but I think he was worried he might melt, melt the hotel. <laughs> it, it's just bonkers, and never do that again. If I, if I ever went again, it would be to visit only. <laughs> Okay. Looking good, Sarah, looking good. So this is the Karen Davies Chunky Rib Silicone Mat. Um, and all Sarah's doing it is use it as an impression mat, really. Um, you can roll your sugar paste in it, you know, impress your sugar paste first, but I think what happens when you're covering large areas is that sometimes, especially with you stretching it over the shape, you can lose some of that impression. Yeah. And I'll show you with the toe and the heel of the sock. I'll do it this way and show you that way. That It's just easy enough done. Yeah. But I just thought with the main big part, because you're pushing it against the cake, you didn't want to push away the texture yeah. really. Mm. So Lorraine Stevenson's going to the ice bar. That's just as bad. So. Uh, I went to Winter Wonderland one year with my oh, daughter. Yeah, the ice bar. <laughs> in there. Is that it? The ice bar. There's, there's an ice there's bar an ice in there. Room kind yeah. Of thing. We went to the ice bar in the hotel in the ice church. Oh God, I've never froze so much in all my life. <laughs> So 
Sneaky. And you're not allowed to go to bed till 11 o'clock at night. A little toe on Because there's nothing to do in there. And then they come and wake you up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Nice. I've never been so happy to see someone in my life. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to, yeah. <laughs> you want to? Where have you got it from? That bowl there. Oh, right, that's fine, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought you might have got it from under the sink. I thought, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kath, I think it's for you to decide which mould, but I'm almost sure once you've bought one, you'll oh. come right back and buy the other yeah, one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Angela Flagg's just said, Kathy, just get both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with it. I think when you see a couple of different ideas from people, you, you do want both because your mind just goes mad with you know with the possibilities of it. Yeah. Actually, last time that um, everyone was coming out with different Very ideas, cool. weren't they? Um, yeah. One lady said you could do a company seller. Old lady so, yeah. in the shoe cake. Yes. Yes. Um, <coughs> all sorts of ideas, and actually, someone said a Christmas boot, so I thought I would. Take that idea Perfect. and try and enter a stocking. So, yeah, a couple of holes developing, but we'll find bits of socks after all. So, if there's anything you want to buy, guys, um, please pop over to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Everything is available there for you to buy. And um, remember, do, do remember this is a sugar and, cry, uh, sugar and crumbs live demonstration. I hope that you're enjoying it. If there's any newbies, Please say hello. Welcome to the kitchen. I don't know where the lady has gone where she was moaning about the hair down, but hopefully she's got the message and understand. It's just a demonstration kitchen. We're not giving this to the public. It's just a bit of fun in the kitchen. Laura, do you want to give out your spiel? Yes, so if you've missed any of the live this evening, you can catch up when we're finished. The whole live gets pinned to the top of the Facebook page. We're also streaming live on YouTube, so hi to anyone that's watching us on YouTube. Um, and it also gets um, saved on YouTube. So all of our previous Facebook live tutorials are all available to watch back on YouTube. They don't get archived or deleted or anything like that. And um, all the one minute videos as well. So all the footage that Maria films over the Facebook Live a couple of hours get squished into a one minute video, which is fantastic. And um, so you can recap back on those at any point as well. If you're interested in purchasing any of the products, like Carol said, just go over to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And um, we have got a Facebook Live must have section on there, which makes it really easy for you to find everything. And um, everything's put in one place. Um, and yeah, if you've got any questions that are relevant, just pop them in the comments. We'll try and get through them. I like if that. Anything. Any questions that are relevant? That's good, isn't it? Well, it's hard because... We had someone trying to flog a couch oh, yeah, last we week. had someone trying to buy a sofa <laughs> and looking for friends and all sorts. And, and the hard part is because the feed moves really quickly. We have people who pop up and ask for, uh, not random questions, don't take this wrong way, but advice about things that aren't being talked about or demonstrated so for example we might have tonight someone popping up for a really good chocolate cake recipe and obviously if we sort of deter away from the facebook live we're losing time and yeah. we're losing information from you for example so and um, if it's relevant to tonight's live fantastic if you've got any other question or query you want some help or advice go over to our community page so if you're not a member already head over to facebook when we're finished it's Sugar and Crumbs All About Cake Community. And that is a place for hints and tips. It's over 25,000 members. It's still growing. So there's always someone available to answer your question, give you some advice and things like that. It really is a fantastic, friendly community group. Yeah. So um, that's the place to go if there's anything that See the emphasis missed. on friendly Friendly. Yeah. <laughs> friendly. Yeah, do pop over to our community group. It's on Facebook. It's called Sugar and Crumbs All About Cake. And, and do pop on over there. It's the Sugar and Crumbs page, by the way. So we don't allow any sellers on there. Um, it is to talk about cake and recipes and ideas. And, um, you know, and that's what we ask you to keep it to. We're not there to promote any sellers. So if there's any sellers on there promoting themselves, we do bin them off. But apart from that, the group is fairly happy. Mm -hmm. Put a nice thin layer on there. It's really coming together. As soon as you put that white on, it looks different all again, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it's only, this is just a little heel to your sock. 
really cute. It's oh. so cute. Missing a craft knife. <gasps> Why didn't you ask for one? I you a craft knife. You want one? <laughs> Making you use a huge palette knife. <laughs> I wonder if I was using a palette knife. I'm just trying to get by. <laughs> <laughs> you only have to wash it out, Sarah. You have everything in this kitchen. I did say to her, I said, is it, are you glad to be back in the kitchen now? You know, Danielle Crouch was here last week and she just had a nosy round. She knew where everything was. <laughs> so I like it when people come back to the kitchen, they know where everything yes. is. Just go and help yourself. And what we've got, all the goodies in hidden and covered. What I really need as well is a stitching tool. We've got one of those as well. Yeah, we've got one of those in there as well. Right, so do you want to tell the lady the ladies what we're making? Um, yes, yeah, so just to recap, um, in the background you should be able to see behind Sarah a fantastic Christmas stocking. Um, it's made with the Molly Robbins Creature Creator Laying Style Mould, which is available on the Sugar and Crumbs website. Um, it's yeah. £32.99, it comes yeah. with um, a couple of free tutorial booklets in there, and they also include a recipe that Sarah's used. So it's the same recipe mix. Um, it does give excess in terms of the amount of cake, but that's just off cuts and they're just a bonus basically. Um, but it's fantastic. It's been a really, really popular item. Um, and there is also a standing style as well. And again, the same, same concept. It comes with tutorials and recipes <coughs> for you to use. So um, Sarah's just doing a Christmas stocking theme with um, toys and little teddy bears, candy canes and things like that. But it really is up to you what you put on there. So if you've got a particular colour theme that you're going for for Christmas, then obviously you can change the colour of the presents and the toys that are inside the top um, and, you know, change it up to be a bit more personal to you. And it would be great to see anyone's attempt at when you've made them. We've had quite a few people... Um, covering the boot that Sarah did for us the first time she was here on the Facebook Live. Um, and it really is great to see everybody having a go. I know loads of you have got moulds, um, so don't be scared. I've got loads of people who say I've got a mould but I'm scared to use it or I haven't had a chance. Just have a go, have a play with it. It's absolutely brilliant to see what you've made. And Molly's always on our group as well, always commenting. Um, you know, she loves to see what you've, you've done and the different ideas that you've, you've used for the mould. It really is fantastic to see. Yeah, you don't get your cake leftovers with this either, so your family will miss out on the <laughs> leftovers. You lose weight. But, <laughs> but um, it's just, it is so easy. I remember I, mine was in the box for a few weeks because I didn't know what to do with it. And even though I'd seen so many brilliant ideas, but I just... Got on with it one day and um, never looked back. Absolutely. If you've not watched the lives before, you want to go back into our um, onto YouTube and have a look through our past lives and see Sarah when she was here last time. She made the most wonderful boot. Really fantastic. It looked really great. Right. So just neaten it up with a. I can't see no well. reason why it can't be made with a fruit cake. You definitely can. It can, on our yeah. Page on our community group posted. Yeah, that's what I said. I can't see no reason yeah. why it can't. Yeah. Um, I don't know if the lady gave the recipe out or the quantities, but someone definitely posted on the page. Oh, I forgot to the lady with the telephone last week. Oh, oh dear. Oh, it's a bit late now. <laughs> Just realised. What's that? Yeah. Oh. So ignore all the scrappy bit round there. It's literally because I put red on white. And it wasn't um, dry, it had just literally been put on, and it's all going to be covered anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm just going along here, which also presses it to the cake as well. Oh, there, Francis has made it with a fruit cake. There you go. Yeah, I'd seen someone make it with mm. a fruit cake. Francis, if you get a chance, just pop up your recipe, if you will do. There we go. Right, I'm just washing my hands all sticky. We've kept a really good audience, Sarah. 468. It's been up to 500. Wow. Doing really well. We've got 45 minutes left. Okay. Pressure on, girl. No pressure. <laughs> Who's made that? Francis. Ah, Francis. Oh, there you go. So, Francis made that out of fruitcake. 
That's the one I saw yeah, last night. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. So can you see that on the camera there, lovely. Laura? Yes. We're on the camera? Yeah. Can we see it closer? Yeah. Right, there you are. So Frances, who's just said that she made it with a fruit cake. So she made that one last week and she got 642 likes for that. So well mm -hmm. done. No, it's, uh, no, it's 20 hours ago she made it. Yeah, she posted it. Day. Yeah. Is, are we still there? Am I on the camera? Yeah, yeah you're on the camera. Oh, sorry. Stay still. <laughs> stay still. I'm, try, I'm trying to be out of this to stay still. No, no, they put me on up. There you go. It. There you go. Brilliant. Yep. Good. Very, very, very good. And that's it. You can go anywhere with these moulds, can't you? Yeah. Mm. And that does remind me of the... Um, one in the shoe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Okay. So I'm just going to do the ribbed effect. Yeah, she just said she posted it last night. Yeah. Yeah. 20 hours ago, and the recipe's in the comments. Well, good. Well done, Francis. See, there you go, everybody. So the mould that's been used for the impression on the stocking is the Karen Davies Chunky Rib Mould. Um, we've got loads of different Karen Davies moulds in at the moment, um, loads of different Christmas themes. <laughs> Sorry, I've got the pop up on. <laughs> Sorry. You just gone into one step ahead of you, Maria. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but you, you've already helped me. <laughs> With the pop up. With the pop up. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a brilliant range of the Karen Davies moulds in at the moment and as you all know, you've been going mad for the new Christmas cookie moulds and we can't stock them quick enough. Honestly, you are going mad for them. I know. Do, are we, are uh, we in stock or are we out of stock again? Potentially still in stock but probably very low again. <laughs> I need to check stock. Mm. So this is only water. Just to stick what I'm about to do. And Francis used apricot jam to stick it together. Oh, nice. Ooh. Yeah, all our lives you can actually watch again. We always pin the the, the uh, most recent ones to the top of our Facebook page, but you can always go pop over to YouTube and watch all our lives. They're all there. We've actually been doing lives now for two two years, ten months. We've been doing Facebook lives. Some of you have been with us right from the very beginning. I wonder who's here tonight who's been with us from day one. So they've changed a lot over the times. Um, we, we're having a good laugh about how they've changed. You know, it used to be just John and I in the kitchen. And then it was John, Maria and I in the kitchen. Um, we used to have no stands at the time. Poor old John had to walk around with just one iPad in his hand. <laughs> and then Laura came over to help out. And then we sacked John. So <laughs> he spent all his time in the fridge. So um, so we sacked John and then it's just become us. And then Karen comes in to help out as well. She's just learning the cameras, but she's probably going to be our, our Thursday girl. I'm going to be Mondays and Thursday girl. Yes, you're going to be yeah. Mondays and Thursdays, I know. Uh, just going to fold it over at the top just so it looks more material like. Soft like. Okay. Looks really good though. Yeah. Did it slightly leaning, the one I did before, but things change. Well, that's the whole idea, yeah, isn't it? I was going to say, that's the point of it. That's the beauty of it. It's a sock. It can, you know, crease and fold and fall wherever. Yeah. So Elaine Lawton was with us from the beginning. She remembers it well. <laughs> no one's here. No one's watching. It's fine. <laughs> Not 500 people watching. <laughs> Maria does. Uh, she remembers that just a minute. It's just John and I. We wish you did let him out of the fridge, but 
He's always in there. Tracy Atkinson, she remembers the lives in the early days. We were laughing about it the other day, how embarrassed we are. And, um, you know, you think they were great at the time and how we've improved on them. And then, like, Maria makes all the videos. So, like, she's embarrassed about all her first videos, which I think are brilliant. Don't but... watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going back now. <laughs> all the one-minute videos. <laughs> and it's like all the problems we've had with lights, isn't it? On summer nights in the summer. Oh, And the lights yeah. have come blaring in. The yeah. yeah. In, in the, the other kitchen with the big window. <laughs> yeah. The sunset had come down. I finally bought... Um, blackout curtains and then we moved kitchens the following yes. week <laughs> yeah, no, no i've got a load of blackout curtains that i don't need be, be blind <laughs> against the window <laughs> one live i had to stand there and carry um actually I had to carry a big a box yeah a big <laughs> box <laughs> just so that i think it was marion frost who was in wasn't it so that she could see <laughs> oh my god we have done some daft things to try and get these lives done <laughs> Yeah, yeah John, John was very good at avoiding everybody. I know you all used to look out for him. They said, yeah, they used to catch him in the in the oven or something like that. <laughs> catch his reflection. Yeah, looking good, Sarah. Looking Fantastic. good. Right, I'm just gonna do a uh, teddy sticking yeah. out the top. What I did before on the other one, he was kind of splayed out, looking like he was all being crushed by the presents. And I didn't think that looked very good, so I'm just going to put oh, a tiny stuff at the top good. instead. Oh, it looks fantastic. When do you start airbrushing? Right at the end. Right at the end, I think, yeah. Um, I did airbrush that one, but um, not everyone's got an airbrush. I'm, why, I don't know, because <laughs> I just can't live without it. But um, it just really makes things pop. Yeah. It really makes things look either more realistic or more cartoon-like. Yeah. It just... It just brings things out to the surface So we're going to keep more. the white board so it looks like snow, are we? We're going to keep the white board, or white with lots of red on it now, <laughs> the white board, and I'm going to just cover loads of sprinkles well, over yeah. it. And well, we've got loads of nice sprinkles yeah. and sugars to glitter. throw in, haven't we? And glitter. Glitter. We like glitter. We love glitter. So Sarah, she's lying. She doesn't like glitter I whatsoever. hate glitter. <laughs> I don't, I mean, it does really accentuate a cake. I it mean, does, it does look it great. It does look great, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you sprayed it all over that one before and it wasn't <laughs> yeah. on it before. I'm like, oh. But um, it really does look Christmassy. Yes. And, um, that's nice, Frosty. isn't it? Van, yeah. Van der Baker says she'd give up watching soap so she could watch the lives. <laughs> and Maloney Grant says, yeah, she remembers John. He would never read the questions out until I asked him if there were any. <laughs> Which is true, that, thinking about it. He never said anything, did he? Anyway, yeah. any questions, John? He goes, oh, oh, oh. Um, Probably maybe. when he took food out of his mouth and then decided to talk. <laughs> He's a proper grazer. He grazes all day long. Mm. Little pickers, big knickers, they say. <laughs> yeah, Tina Pine's saying stick some snowballs on. Do you want me to make you some snowballs? Yeah, we can have some snowballs. <laughs> well, I may as use all that Renshaw white up, haven't I? <laughs> so what is it you're making, Sarah? I'm just making... Um, can you see that right around right, right, yeah. I'm literally just making bows and um, ribbon uh, as right. if yep. for the presents. Um, so I'm going to stick them on now. Not with that though, because it's got red on it. Do you want me to wash it? Yeah. But I'm just going to stick that on now, just so that um, it has time to set a little yeah. bit, just so that I can paint it with um, metallics or colours, whatever. But you can you can make your presents really intricate. I mean, on that one I used thank you so much. On that one I used royal icing. But uh, what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at Linda Miles. Linda Miles, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Getting the cat out of the bag. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> we thought we'd got away with it, Linda. Thanks, Linda. <laughs> So, wonder what's in this present. Mm. 
Ooh, any other sugar paste okay for diabetics? Uh, no, no, not yet. No, we are Sorry. not aware of any company yet. I've got a sugar to try for diabetics to make flavoured icing sugar. The only thing would be, it tastes like normal sugar, it's lovely. The only thing it will be, it will be grainy. Yeah. That's the only thing. Yeah. It will be. But mm. if they can have it, can't have everything, can you? Mm. So it won't be all that, as, what's it called? Aspartame. Aspartame stuff. It won't be all that, so I have to uh, play with it. Ooh, we might have conquered cream cheese. I'm taking it to the show with me. Gonna let you have a try. So we won't have it on sale at the show. I'm just gonna have it there so that you can taste it, see what you think. And um, if I can find the little pots, I'll make some sample pots so that you can take them away with you as well. But um, I just gotta locate the little pots that we had. Elaine Lawson. See, Carol, you should have had them blackout lines that morning. <laughs> All okay, right. we got all right. So we we'll best <laughs> tell everybody now. Sarah's wondering what's going on. So we did a recording once because we had to. So we did a recording and we did it in the daytime, and uh, we then posted it in the night time. And then John moved the camera, showed everybody the window. <laughs> <laughs> daytime. So it was like a Tuesday night, dark, and somebody said, "Why is it daylight outside?" And yeah, we got caught out. However, what most people must remember that that was still filmed as live. Yes. It wasn't put yeah, together it was and live, edited. Yeah. It was completely mm. live. Yeah. yeah. Just broadcast at a yeah. different time. We still went to all the same work, same trouble, yeah. same tu uh, tutor in the kitchen. We were all here. Nobody knew Linda to you <laughs> spotted it. Well, we have to blame John actually. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Well, let me tell you, we're all here tonight. Yeah, I promise. Keep some for Saturday, yes. We'll be doing tasters like we normally do with the cream cheese, and then what I'll do is I'll keep... A, I'll keep I'll, I need to find the pots, actually. Oh, sugar. Um, I need to find the pots, and if I can find the pots, I'll do some samples. <laughs> and see what you think. I'm... I'm a bit more confident about this one. <clears throat> You're quite right, Dale. We used to send out sample pots. So a long time ago, we used to sell out, send out sample pots with customers, but um, trading standards have stopped us from doing it because we have to put... Well, basically, they haven't stopped us from doing it. What they've told us is, is that we've got to put a sticker on. And to be fair... We didn't make any money on the sample pots. They were just basically a free sample. And they actually take quite a lot of time to do. So when we make them, it takes four members of staff a whole day to make them, to fill up all the fridges. And then we used to give them away. And it was great for the trade. The trade loved them so that they could have customers tasting them and everything. And then um, I used to sell them as like, how many did we used to sell? Yeah, I think it? they were 12s. I think it was 12 for like £1.60 or something stupid. And lots of people used to buy them so that they could use them as samplers for their wedding um, consultations. But basically, trading standards came in and said, look, got no problems you making them, but you basically need to put all the ingredients on, all the allergens on, all this, all that. By the time we've done all that, it just wasn't worth it. No. So we jacked it in. So, you know what, sometimes good things are ruined. But anyhow, so we had to jack it in. They're very cute snowballs. <laughs> They're cute snowballs. I don't know how many you want, but I thought I'd make you... There's about 100 here. Okay. <laughs> She's a fast worker. Um, I normally use my pizza slice at home for things like this as well. Oh. I didn't do, put do it you on my list. Do you there, so no, you didn't no, put it on this. Do you, want a, do you want a little cutter? I haven't got a pizza cutter. No, that's there. fine. That's just, just neating up the edges and that. I'm too this busy making not, snowballs this, here. Yeah, this is not, you know, expert. I'm just showing you ideas. Yeah, yeah. Don't cut it too hard in my board. I forgot you had a knife. Oh. 
Lindy Mills. <laughs> we was just confused. It was all dark. I remember Richard Crompton saying that they thought we were filming in Australia that night. <laughs> Could have got away with that one. But the main thing is, it was alive. We had an audience. We had all the guests there. It was busy. I think it was the one with Rob Allen and Jackie Heaton, wasn't it? The kitchen was full, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. I think so. so that's what we're laughing at, Sarah. Okay. She's get Linda Mills giving the game away. Freaking hell, Jude. Eat them. <laughs> I hope you kept them in the freezer. I'm not sure you can eat them. Climbing. <laughs> June still got them. We stopped selling them. We stopped. Uh, we stopped giving them out two years ago. <laughs> you have to tell, taste them, June. Tell us what they taste of. Oh God! Don't come back to us with any disclaimers, though. <laughs> Probably a good idea. That changes standards since stopped selling them. <laughs> We're all saying that's why I'm making snowballs, keep my mind off what Sarah's doing with that knife board. on the board. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right, should I cut my finger instead? No. Oh, yeah, me, no. <laughs> and Ed, think you that's plenty of snowballs, or would you like a few more? Oh, that's plenty. And they look nice, won't they? Dot them around. You can lovely. pile them up in piles of five and stuff. Whenever I'm making little models or little things, I always cut on my hand. Yeah. Oh, you know, mm. it's so easy. Yeah. It's quite nice just to go to the extra detail making a couple of presents and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So we're half past nine, Sarah. Okay. Oh, June says it's all right. She won't be eating them now. I'm glad about that. <laughs> I was waiting for a phone call. <laughs> yeah, I think you should give it a go, June. Tell us how you feel. To be fair, if they've been kept in the fridge, there really shouldn't be any problem. But... Just do a quick couple of photos. I'm just going to really speed up now. So it will be Chunky Monkey. Do you want me to make you some holly yeah. from their mould? Yeah, or do you, you want might. to do them? No, this can be Sarah and Carol's of that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> now do you want me to knock you some I don't know why I've gone so slow tonight. Hey? I don't know why I've gone so slow. <laughs> Enjoying yourself. You haven't that. really, to be fair. You've done a lot in an hour and a half. Yeah, but we'll get a move on. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this purple. Yeah, purple. Is that lovely. Renshaw? The yeah. Ren yeah, it's Renshaw ready to roll. So the colours um that Sarah used <coughs> is just the Renshaw ready to roll. Um, they, there is a massive range of the colours in the Renshaw range. It is fantastic. Um, and they're really strong colours as well. Yeah. So, yeah, they're really good. <clears throat> right, I need to clean up so I can't go for it. Where's your corn flour? Tina Pine, that's a lovely idea. So you could use the gingerbread mould um, from Karen David and have the little gingerbread men sticking out. Oh, the tiny little yeah. tiny ones, that would be really cute. Exactly, Tina, this is what we were saying before. And um, So Sarah doesn't ever like to do the same thing twice, so it will still be the boot or the sock, but it will have little different toys, different parcels, yeah. different colours, and that's what you can do. You can totally adapt it to your theme, your colour theme or anything like that. So if it's for a, if it's for a family in particular, you can put the family's initials on there, for example. Um, colour theme if you're you know into black and gold or gold and silver or red and silver or whatever, just adapt it to whatever your theme is. The presents can be certain colours. They can have little gift tags on there with children's names on. Um, there's loads of different ideas that you can do. So just have a go. Let's see what your creations are. 
Um, you know, we can't wait to see your creations on the community page. It's really good to see what everyone comes up with. Right, I'm just using modelling paste here, just so it stands up better. This might look quite random, but there <laughs> is an arm. <laughs> and I'm just going to... Um, it's random. It's random, <laughs> but it's an arm. <laughs> it's an arm of a little teddy. Are we not colouring him? Yes, after. Oh, what, yeah. I, what I was going to do is colour him um, with buttercream after and just using a small star tip nozzle. Which. Oh. oh. They're both 27s, but they're both very different. Whether I crushed one in, which <laughs> you can do with nozzles, which is great to get a completely different effect. So I just wanted a bit of a bigger teddy this time and to be able to stand up and withhold the um, bus cream really. You got any cocktail sticks? Yes. I have. Great. I think just for a little bit of extra. There you go. Just remembering of course to, who, to whoever you're making the cake for to tell them there are sticks in it. So Maria, yeah. there are sticks in it. <laughs> <laughs> you can also use, if you don't want to use, you all know this. Um, well, I didn't know this not that long ago, but um, hard spaghetti. Yeah. Pasta. Yeah. What do you do with that red, red stuff? That red modern, that red paste, I suppose. Yeah. So we're just going to do a head. Just anything like this um, for children and, and um, Christmassy. You just want to make it look cute yeah. as possible, really. So I just thought the little bit of a bigger teddy. Just have a nose at what, what Carol's up to. <laughs> Hey. Oh. Having a nosy, Just, what you're up to? <laughs> Shaking a couple of holly leaves for her. Yeah. Just stick one in there as well. Very quick, very basic. But now, what's going to be the front rest side? <laughs> Is there a good side? It will come together, I promise. If I've got another two hours. <laughs> <laughs> With the ears because I think that's the main thing that makes it a teddy. It doesn't matter what features or anything, you don't need anything. And as soon as you put the ears on, you know exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah. straight away. Oh, look at that. Now I can I see the ears now. Yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> all it takes. That's all it takes. Camera, am I all right? No, you're there? fine there. No, no. And I'll just put a little kind of muzzle. Nose, muzzle, muzzle. So, I'm going to put all these in the bag to put some of the dry Some buttercream, same oh. gingerbread buttercream as I used. Oh, you colour, do, you, do you only need to colour it all the same colour? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm going to leave a little bit of cream actually because I'll do it. cream on the paws and the um, ears. No, I won't. I'll use fondant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm winging it. 
Has anyone noticed? You think? No, no, not at all. This is sugar and crumbs. It's always what happens. It's what people love. What I love is that she's now knowing where you're in the kitchen. Did yeah, you see that? They're all straight, straight away. away. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Really, but oh, that smells lovely. That gingerbread. <laughs> mm -mm. Karen Davies has been using it to make her molds, uh, make her cookie muck dough. Mold, was it? Cookie muck dough. So she's brought out the new gingerbread cookies. Right. So she can't. Oh, yeah, yeah. She can't put the she can't put the ice sugars in the recipe because her molds go worldwide. And our sugars are not available worldwide. Yeah. But she uses it in there and it's absolutely lovely. But on the live when we were down there last time, she used toffee apple. It was amazing. Yeah, it smelled incredible. I did. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I used white chocolate and raspberry when I used um oh. when I did the cookies. Um yeah, and that that smell and tasted amazing. Mm. Is that for your brother's wedding? Yeah. Yeah. Just because I think a flavour like that, most people like. It's not, it's still a strong enough flavour with the raspberry, but it's, it, obviously with the white chocolate, it just tones the, the, the strength down, but it tastes, the taste was fantastic. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm nice and the biscuits. So I think my lot have forgotten the round tonight. Oh, possibly. I haven't seen them comment, to be honest. Yeah, there's a lot of people on there. Yeah, there are loads. I'm still um, over 350. You can get onto the phone to, tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Where are you? Your own All family, deserted isn't it? me. That's your own thing with your own family. <laughs> Even my family don't watch. <laughs> I've got four kids and none of them watch. <laughs> well, only one of my granddaughters watches. She watches the next day because she's in Australia. She's uh, 12. So she'll watch the next day or at the weekend. That's she likes it on a Thursday day if you're on during the day because she can watch it then. Yeah. Um, Holly's too young to watch it at night time. Don't want to drop that in there. <laughs> what I do at home, actually, so there's no risk of it going in. I've lost it now, but I put it on the floor. <laughs> yeah. We'll clean it up after. And when I have classes, I would suggest that people do that because uh, the last thing you want is a little bit of plastic in your icing. <laughs> I tell you what, we've not shouted out, Sarah. I'm not shouting out your page oh, for yeah. people to go over yeah. and like your page. So do you want to shout out? Tell them yeah, to I um, run Effie's Pantry Cakes. Effie's Pantry. And where are you based, then, Sarah? I'm based in Wiltshire, Barrowshaw in Wiltshire. Very tiny little place that no one's ever heard of <laughs> when I mention it. But um, yeah, and I work from home and. I, I really literally only started in January, although I've been making cakes for years, and I love every day. Fantastic. I just do something different every yeah. day, really. And I'm just learning as I go along. I'm no expert by any stretch of the imagination. That's the comment you made before. You had these moulds at home thinking to yourself, what was you going to do with them? And now, yeah. look at you, you're yeah. rolling with them, aren't you? Yeah. Where do you want me to? Wherever you want to be, I'll move the camera. That's a bread pick. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Let's just get this. Let me try it first. Jeez. Right, it looks like my hand's shaking, but it's not. It's just it's quite a stiff consistency because if you've got it too sloppy because you want to keep that shape really well I want to keep that shape really <laughs> of the um the more furry looking oh we've got cut pair sticks hanging from your head <laughs> <laughs> elbow jewellery <laughs> it's not anyone okay I 
and should look like a nice fluffy teddy afterwards. There again, this is it's just <laughs> another texture. The concentration now, this is this happens all the time. Where it's like when we're someone's painting something or you know, doing something really intricate. Everyone's all done the breath. Yeah, we all go into complete silence. <laughs> My hands are in the way. No, don't worry. Don't look free. This phone is right on. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Maria blocks the sound out when she does her video, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> Not only breathing and swallowing, then. <laughs> Gulping. So cute. That's just a little star tip. Again, it's just to get a bit of texture. Yeah, it's a great idea. But I love your teddies. You use the nifty nozzles, don't you? Yeah, you've yeah. done the teddies. Or did Paul did a yeah, he Paul did, did a teddy. Did a teddy. Yeah. Then a hedgehog. Yeah. Yeah. Old, you know, one at home. Sarah's just used the Koala Colour Splash Gel, but it's just personal choice as to your shade of brown, how deep you want it. You can use the, the um, I think we've got a chestnut, is it? And the colour splash gels, um, but any brand of your choice if you've got browns, you know, it really doesn't matter. This is a really nice colour, isn't it? It is, it's almost like a toffee colour, like yeah. caramel. It, yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. I think um, Michelle actually, when Michelle was here and did the Halloween theme cake, used the koala in the buttercream. Um, and the buttercream yeah, effect did. on the cake. Yeah. Right, I've got to really get a move on, haven't I? <laughs> no pressure, but yeah. We've got ten minutes. <laughs> You'll be able really? to please. I made these hollies for you. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm forever grateful, you know. Oh, really. that is that is so cute. cute. Oh, you really like the rustic look. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. How <laughs> cute does that look? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fab. Right, and I've got some black sugar pearls. Keep some left. I'm just going to use his eyes and nose. And I always think little animals or toys and whatever look cuter with their eyes more apart. Uh, I didn't put tweezers on my list. Did I? <laughs> I'm getting more, more or less on the side. Oh, 
<laughs> it's so cute. So well, I think I'll just use a bit of white fondant to make the um, pores and find any what you need. <laughs> Rolling pin? Yeah, that's it. The thing with the turntable, it always hides underneath Hide everything. Yeah. You don't want to go over the top. Yeah. Yeah, you could do a bigger teddy coming out of the top of the, the stocking. You know, you could totally adapt this to how you want it. So the, the sock itself is probably just a base. You know, you can just use this idea to totally adapt it to your theme, to your style. Um, but Sarah's given you two brilliant ideas here. So the cake that she's prepared and brought already with her, which we'll show you at the end of the live. And also the cake that Sarah's done this evening for you, which is, again, it's just a slightly different take on it. Um... You know, just do your own thing. He looks adorable. <laughs> We're going to call him, Maria. Oh, he's going to have a John. name. John. Oh, John. John. John the Teddy. I know Chris, Chris. Chris. <laughs> Charger. Charger. I gave you this. Oh. Chris the Teddy. Yes. After a boyfriend. Chris um. the Teddy. Teddy. Is it because he's so cute? <laughs> yeah. I'd be worried if she thought John was cute. <laughs> no! <laughs> John, I forget. No, no. Gonna do a tiny little bit of pink for his tongue. Um, red somewhere. Uh, Carol's later, I think. Uh, red. What's gonna do with it? It's all there. No, oh, that's it. Yeah, Lipstick. Lips. <laughs> Pinch. I'll say my bit dry down. Do you remember last time we put it all in um, icing bags? Yeah. Or gloves. Oh, gloves. Gloves. Yes. Yes. Blue. Yeah. Yes. gloves. Blue gloves. And we wrote them in like little. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Gonna make a little tiny sausage. Oh, that's, he doesn't want a marble tongue, does he? Mm. Mix it up a bit. And we're literally going to be slapping on right. the present. I'll stick them there for you when you need them. Thank you. Cut that in half. Get a little cheeky tongue. Um, really, you need. No, it's fine. Thank you. Okay. Um, two little white balls. Flatten. So good, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Oh, thanks, sorry, sorry. You're now stuck with all the cables on your head. I don't know what you were doing there. <laughs> Looks fantastic. Right, I'm back. <laughs> You're back. Karen, get it out and let us know how you get on. Just, <laughs> was she on about that? Get it out and has, has this turned into a different programme? I'll have it away. I'll have to good tonight. But hey. Has anyone started making their Christmas cakes yet? I don't make them the week before. I love fruit cake. I rely on Carol. Mm. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. we Do you want them again this year? Yeah. Do you want 
be here because we'll be, I'll be doing Facebook Lives on them again this year. Yep, well, I'm coming oh, for right. Christmas. Oh. <laughs> yes, Sarah's invited for Christmas, so you no, know. No, I'll be doing Facebook Lives now. again. Uh, for December, there's only me. I've only got one guest in December, unless Sarah decides to come. No, so, I'll, I'll come in December. In I'll December, I thought I'll show you all how to make some Christmas treats. Can I have my baking skills again? <laughs> so I'll show you how to make a Christmas cake again, and we'll decorate it a bit differently. Mm -hmm. Good, well, I'm glad we've got two goers. Were they all right, those cakes, I'll show you? Yeah. Were they? Yeah. Was really nice. You took yours to Spain with you, didn't you? Yeah. I don't know how I survived. Mm. Me and my mum lived on ours for days. And mm. then I think we actually took it away with us as well at New Year. Oh, I love it, me. Yeah. That's rageous, doesn't it? No. One day in my <gasps> house. I like a um, Christmas cake with um, a slice of but with butter on it as well. Oh, yeah, was it? That was a, that was the whole thing last year, wasn't it? Mm. Christmas cake with butter. Yeah, it's nice. I remember. Yeah. I remember now. It's all coming back to me. Oh, so like, um, those, those kind yeah. of things. Yeah, but it was proper Christmas cake. Yeah, proper Christmas cake. Yeah. I didn't like so in December, Christmas guys, you've got me all the time. Um, so I'll be making different things in December. So anybody who's late on making their Christmas cake, I'll show you how to make one so you can get it made the week before. And, it's a and, in, and in fairness, um, I made one the week before, which I soaked everything. And then one of the girls took one home that we just had to, actually had to make that day. And they took it home the next day. So I, I showed you how to put all the ingredients together. But then I baked it that day and decorated it the next day for the girls. So these are the new Sprinklicious Sprinkle range. Mm. Yeah, We've got... A, gorgeous range of colours and mixes and these are our two Christmas ones yeah. so we've got as Maria pops a little snowflake mm. into her mouth just to taste this test. Is, I don't get snowballs up in here making yeah, Sarah. I'm, gonna, I'm going to. I was going to say that there's hundreds of them here. You know. um, this is our Winter Wonderland sprinkles and we have um, what's the other one called? Christmas Magic? Yes. yes. Christmas Magic yeah. I can never remember um, that's why I didn't say it. Sarah just get the Christmas Magic ones behind you. Oh yeah yeah. So yeah. Yeah, That's gorgeous cool. reds and gold. So and there the, is are they on the camera there? Right. So they're the Christmas magic ones. Now these are suitable for all diets. So vegan, vegeta vegetarian, uh, they're nut free, they're they're all allergen free actually, suitable for a kosher and a halal diet. So anybody can actually have these. Um I am gonna take them to Cake International. I haven't got the labelling at the moment. The labelling just says go and see the website, um, which is fine when I'm selling them on the website. But when I take them to the show, the labels won't be ready this week. So it will say refer to the website, um, which is fine. And if you don't like the idea, then don't buy them. <laughs> Simple as that. Oh, somebody give John a bit of a bollocking for, sell for selling them with no labels. He said, have a look on the website. It's all there. And she wasn't impressed. I wasn't very happy. Um, this looks really cute. It's quite nice that you've done one different, completely yeah. different, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you use a for me snowball. Yeah. <laughs> Worked I mean, out. You do and don't forget, we've got some holly over there as well. If you ever end up doing, end up doing, you know, duplicate cakes, they can never be the same. For one, it gets boring for you. Yeah. And um, you know, life it's just a variety in life, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So the Christmas cakes I make that you can make a week before, um, I add alcohol to them as well. So I'll be making two. I'll be making one um with no alcohol, and um, and I'll be making another one with alcohol. <laughs> Simple as that, really. <laughs> The one without alcohol, I think we did. We have pure orange oh, juice. Well, you won't have any alcohol in it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, pure orange juice. Oh, I agree with you, Sarah. I don't. I have to give the red wine a miss, but eating Christmas cake with cheese. Oh, what and the glass red wine. Yeah, far. it's quite nice. I bet my mum does because she loves things like that. My mum loves like the savoury and the sweet yeah. together. No, I'm very much sweet should be sweet and savoury, savoury. I don't like sweet and sour. I don't like sweet yeah, and sour, I but I, I love things like um, chocolate pretzels, you know, the salt and the chocolate. Uh, I love yeah. things like that. Is the other side getting snowballs, or are we only just doing one yeah, side? Yeah, a couple. 
I was going to say, you've got plenty of snowballs to go out, Emily, haven't you? <laughs> what about when you come to Airbrush, Sarah? <laughs> 3,000. <laughs> what happens when you come to Airbrush, Sarah? Will that not go on your snowball? Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you forgot your airbrushing? No, no, I forget my airbrushing. <laughs> I am. Um... You're going to show us control. <laughs> I'm going to show you control. <laughs> Do you want some mouse friendly sugars to put I hope Ben Cullen isn't watching this. <laughs> these sparkling sugars by Wilton are lovely as well. These, uh, these really help make it look, give a different dimension to it. Right, today folks, I think we might just airbrush around the top. Because <laughs> you put snowballs <laughs> on the board. <laughs> the pressure here is real. <laughs> <coughs> oh dear. I don't know why you'd have a stocking outside and it'd be snowing on a stocking, but anyway. It is now. It is now. <laughs> Anything can happen in the sugar and crumbs. Yeah. <laughs> it actually looks quite good like that with that on, yeah. to be fair. It does look Should like I... just when a layer of frost has gone on it, though, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> Shall I, um... I like it. I can say. Oh, should I spray it with that gold as well? I'm really Are you going to bother using the airbrush, then? Time. Yeah, I'll do the top. Three minutes past ten. Rose, just stay with us. We Show won't be much me. longer. Right, right, okay. You never got around to do your royal icing either. No, I think she just wasn't going to do it. I, no, I wasn't. No. I tried that in the beginning. Oh, did you decide yeah. you weren't doing that in the beginning? Yeah. No. Do you remember you asked me last night? No, I'm not always. You did, not. actually. I do remember. I've got a bit of problem with memory at the moment. I don't remember a lot of things. I can't even remember how many Cake Masters Awards I've been to. <laughs> or where? Well, Actually, you remembered I did where. remember where. You remembered where. Where's the rejuvenation the gold? I'm just going to put a bit of... The rejuvenators in the cupboard. The gold, the cake, all out. The gold's gold out. 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 I will need a palette as well. That's it, a brush No, that's not. The spray. The spray is here. Cool. Oh, you're going for the glitter then. Even though I'm not a glitter girl, it does look all, nice, doesn't it? It really does. Make Such it sparkle. Flare colours. It's good on my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so great. Edible sparkle. Yeah. Powder puff lift dust. Finishing the sparkle. Yeah. You have to be very gentle with it. What you do is you give it a good shake. There we go. Good so shake. Ready ready with you. And then you go. Take a look. Squirt it on. <gasps> now that's a <laughs> sparkle. Look. See? It's called sparkle. <laughs> It's got to be sparkly. Just sparkle. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't need to bird brush it now. Yeah. There you go. Okay. No. You go. No, no it's brush. sparkling. No brush needed. <laughs> no. Winter Wonderland. There we go. Christmas stuff. <laughs> How about Carol's holly? Oh yeah, what about my holly? Yeah, don't forget Sorry. that. I've worked hard on that. Um, I've even know. made berries for it. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Look at my hand my there. Uh, Proper old lady's arm, man. Because <laughs> I'd left that bare because it was going to have this holly on it. Yeah, oh, it was a deliberate touch up then. Oh, Sarah's remembered. Don't forget Carol's Holly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be bringing the glitter spray to see hi, so you can come and get the glitter spray off me. I tell you, we couldn't sell it fast enough. We didn't buy a lot for the last show. But it, after I threw it all over everyone by accident, it was the best sales pitch I'd ever done that. <laughs> Throw it all over everybody. Everybody went mad. Then I sparkled all the girls. Everybody on the sugar and crumb stand, I sparkled all them with it. Everybody's asking why they were sparkling. Oh, that's lovely. Well, without Carol's holly, 
<laughs> would have been a disaster. But there you go. Wouldn't have been a disaster. It looks fabulous, Sarah. And it is completely different to the other one. I'm just squashing your ball. Your My berries. berries. I don't have balls. <laughs> and berries. There, what does everyone think? There Happy we go. Birthday. What do you think, everybody? Lovely. What do we think? Let's get those thumbs up. Love hearts going. Are you considered that done now? Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Have we done? Yeah. So um, after getting all hours. the airbrush out, you never used it. No. <laughs> but I can't promote airbrushing enough. <laughs> At home, I'm the airbrushing queen. I love it. I've got the gold out and I haven't used that either. No. So I would have just used a bit of rejuvenating. Well, there you go, everyone. That's what happens on the Facebook Lives. You never know what's going to happen. That's why it's called Live. So you just go with it. Go with the flow. Yep. So I hope you've really enjoyed tonight's Facebook Live. As usual, you know, here in the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen, we don't take ourselves seriously. We call it light entertainment with a learning experience. And it's a learning experience on how to decorate, how to use tools. And, you know, it's just about having fun. And we like to be a bit of a family because so many of you are regular here so you all join in with the comments which is great was i eating tonight one or two of you noticed yes i have got a bowl of chocolates out of the side of me so uh, yes i've munched through all that but anyhow big thank you to sarah for coming up she's on a massive journey up to here today it's taken her all day to get here she actually arrived at 20 past six so we, we it was like madness here and she's actually brought a friend with her and we've had to get him to roll out all, <laughs> need all the sugar paste and everything before it before we went live because none of us had any energy to do it but um anyhow sarah's page is effie's pantry cakes effie's pantry cakes mm -hmm. okay do pop over there give her a like give her a comment let her know what you thought about her uh, cake tonight let's get the other one here there we go so we've got two here. So Sarah, what did you do here then, just so that they know? I uh, just added a little blob of fondant underneath. Yeah. Put that over the top. I airbrushed this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this was um, an edible print that I just stuck on the board. Made individual presents and um, used sprinkles for this. Used royal icing for this. Sprinkles. Um, added luster and gold and made the little, little smaller teddy there. Made candy canes that I also forgot to yeah, you make, make tonight, tonight as, well. as well, weren't you? But they're just two colours spiralled, rolled together, rolled tighter, and then made. Yeah, just make it. That's it. But that's what it's called. It's about it's about having fun. It's yeah. about enjoying yourself. It's about getting the kids involved, the grandchildren involved. You know, it's about making something different. Can you imagine showing this on Christmas Day? Put this together, you know, and on Christmas Day, the family are going to go mad for it. And, um, you know, don't take yourself too seriously. Don't put yourself under pressure. It's got to be perfect. Go with the rustic look. You know I'm rustic. Just go with the love. Uh, go with the love. Free and easy. Cake is to be made with love. It's to be made for fun. It's made to be enjoyable. It's not <laughs> made to be stressed. <laughs> So people no, get so stressed about yes. it. Don't get so stressed about it. We don't need sharp edges in here. No. You know what? Let's just slap it all together. It will look good. Believe me. And it's fantastic. Help making that as well. Yeah. They'd love to make little presents and Yeah, and you've showed them how to make it so easy, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Good. Right then. So we're at Cake International this week. Um, we're going to be arriving there on Thursday, set up. So we'll send you some pictures of our journey down. We'll send some pictures over of what our stand looks like while we're building it, everything else. Um, for those of you who are joining us on the Friday, I'm on the main stage on the Friday. I think it's the main stage. I keep saying that. I'm probably stuck in the corner somewhere where nobody knows. But anyhow, go. I'll try and find out where it is and I'll let you know on Thursday. Uh, but wherever Jackie Kelly is, she's on first. She's the host. And then I'm on after. So do get down there. I, get, I go live at half past 10. I think I've got 40 mi 45 minutes. God knows what we'll do with 45 minutes. I'm always a two hour girl. Anyhow. Um, so and then I'll be throwing out some things into the audience or whoever else is going to be throwing things out into the audience for me and then pop along to our stand it's b26 so i'm told one of you lot told me it is i trust you it seems familiar um and then we're back here on monday night with natalie porter 
For those of you who love Natalie Porter, she's going to be in the kitchen. She's got a load of brand new goodies. They're all going to be released on Sugar and Crumbs Facebook Live first. She'll be releasing them at the show. So if you can't get to the show, she'll then be releasing them on the Facebook Live. So we're very, very excited. We've got an action packed full up, full November. I can't believe we're in November. <laughs> aren't we? <laughs> on, on the, yeah, because it's oh, we're there for Halloween, aren't yeah. we? On Thursday, yeah. So um, so on the first of November, the show starts. And then all through November, every Monday and most Thursdays, we've got somebody in the kitchen right up until December the 2nd. And then after that, it's just going to be me, I think, <laughs> unless you can get that. We'll see. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, so do we need to say anything to anybody, Laura? No, just very quickly, if you've missed any of the live or you want to catch up, it's been pinned to the top of the Facebook page when we're finished. And we've also streamed on YouTube. So thanks to everyone on the YouTube that, uh, channel that's um, joined us as well. Um, it will also get transferred to YouTube as a complete uh, video as well when we're finished. So thanks again for watching. If you're interested in purchasing any of the products that you've seen this evening, head over to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. And thank you, Sarah. Thank thank lovely you, Sarah. to have you back in the kitchen thank again. You. We always have great fun in the kitchen yeah. with everybody who comes to see us, <laughs> including you guys. See you next Monday. <laughs> or Friday <laughs> yeah. or whenever over the weekend anytime anytime <laughs> at some point any place anywhere, anywhere. <laughs> as long as it's not dark <laughs>